Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 14 of season 2 here at Southampton Football Club. We are into the January transfer window. Big deals already being done as you could uh, previously see there. Mario, Mario, I keep saying Mario Icardi, I did that previously. Mauro Icardi at Chelsea now for £69.8 million. Pounds. Some big deals going through. We're looking to sell ourselves to then buy, but I do need to sell to be able to buy. Got three strikers on the uh, transfer list. Marcus Barnes, Guido Carrillo and Ryan Seager. Uh, Alfie Jones also on the transfer list. I'm torn because... I'm really not enjoying using a Nana in goal, but I need a striker. So I'm going to go for the striker first. Pierre-Emil Hoiberg also wants to leave, but I'm really quite keen on keeping him at the club, to be completely honest. I'd very much like to keep hold of him, but the board uh, reckon that I need to deal with it. It looks clear that you're not going to use a the player, therefore we should get him off the books as he's costing a significant salary. So please take the appropriate action of involving him in the first team, or give him his request of a loan to another club. So the board have basically given me an ultimatum. I need to either use Hoiberg or move him on. So, going to use him. Uh, Aaron Moy is currently in the starting lineup. Now, uh, James Will Prowse has been decent in that role. Now, just to make sure that Hoiberg stays at the club, I'm going to put him in the starting lineup for a few games throughout the month of January. But as soon as January ends, I'm going to throw Lamina straight back into the starting lineup. But just to try and keep Pierre Emil Hoiberg on board, I'll start him in the next few games and hopefully we can just kind of, I don't know, it's kind of emotional abuse almost, isn't it? Trying to just tease him into staying and then be like, actually, you're still not actually my first team player. But never mind. Hopefully we can just kind of cheat the system and keep him on board. I don't really want the South African manager's job. Thank you very much. No bids as of yet for any of the strikers we're trying to sell on. So we'll go into this game against Watford. Rather frustratingly, two games in two days again, as was the case in yesterday's episode. But we got a win and a, and a defeat in opposite games. That I would have expected those results to come in. We got Norwich again in the cup. They knocked us out of the Carabao Cup rather embarrassingly. I'd like to avoid that this time around, but of course that'll be in tomorrow's episode. We'll play Wednesday as well. Should we get through that FA Cup game? We might have another one uh, before the end of the window. If not, it might be uh, the first week in February. We'll have to wait and see, but we'll play it by ear. We'll start with Watford today. Hopefully we can get some sales done because I really want to bring in a striker, but we just have to see what happens, won't we? Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out any more of this series or, of course, the... Uh, can I play my, I can play my home kit. Remember this series or the RTG series. Justin Cliver, not fully fit, but still fit enough to start. In fact, let's throw Promise out wide. Let's put Lamina into the starting lineup and throw Ward Prowse back at Cam. Just for this game to see if that actually works and Richarlison can start up top at striker. Right, Watford away. 4 2 3 1 for Watford. Nathaniel Chaloba and Decore holding. With uh, Pereira sat behind the main man up top, Andre Gray. Pace out wide with Isaac Success as well. Watford are a, a decent team at home. This is not going to be easy. Success kicks that straight to Quincy Promise. Cedric runs straight into Roberto Pereira. Both teams quite willingly <laughs> giving the ball back to the opposition. Oh, jeeps, that could have been awkward had Anana not had his near post covered. Thankfully, his positioning was on point this time around. His time at the club is actually under real question. I might, at the beginning of Season 3, be looking to move on Anana and bring in a new goalkeeper, providing I can make the other changes to the uh, team that I want to in this window and that window. This is a great move that unfortunately won't end in a goal, with Richarlison firing high and wide as the clock read 10-10. Nil-nil. John Campbell swept out wide here to Isaac Success. Around the corner to Andre Gray. It's been a really closely fought game that actually hasn't seen that many efforts on goal, if any, thinking about it. Match facts. Oh, I've had one shot. I've had one shot. That's all that we've seen in the opening 35 minutes. Both sides just keep trying to attack and then take the ball off each other in the final third, and neither side is actually able to create anything. Richarlison could try and find Quincy Promise here, and he's done so well. 
Oh, but that shot was pretty terrible, and that sums up everything that we've uh, just said. Neither side good enough to take the lead in the opening 36 minutes. Decore. Swept up wide here to Joel Campbell. Kiko Feminia round the corner nicely to Joel Campbell again. And oh, Nana just gets there in time. Four minutes to go in this half. This has the... Oh, God. This has the feel, weirdly, for a game in, involving me both offensively and defensively. It has the feel of a 1-0 game. Like, I probably won't keep a clean sheet. So, you get a funny feeling it's going to be 1-0 Watford, but they are yet to actually have any meaningful effort on goal. I've only had one or two shots personally as well, and the first half has been a bit drab, really. A bit poor. Not what you expect from a game at this level. Watford are in the relegation zone, but there's not really been too much of a difference between the way that the two of us have played to this point. They're currently 18th and we're 7th, although there's only 8 points between us. The uh, bottom half of the table is really very tight. Isaac's success gets up for that header, but that's cleared away. Only as far as Joel Campbell, though. Slow over to Joel Campbell, a nice one too. And Isaac's success draws a save out of a nana. And that is Watford's first chance on goal, and that will be the end of the half. Amina, Cedric, Promes, Wall Prowse, nicely into Richarlison, who's turned really well actually, Richarlison, and Wall Prowse is going to sneak through that gap, and James Wall Prowse will poke us in front, and was he onside? Yes he was. Goal for Southampton. Said in the first half it had the feel of a 1-0 game that I thought might go Watford's way, but that's nice play by Richarlison to cut that back through the gap. Wall Prowse with good positioning and good strength to hold off the defender on his shoulder and pokes it home well. Captain for the day, James Wall Prowse. I got called out in the comments section the other day, actually, for giving Aaron Moy the captaincy. I don't select my captain on FIFA. It literally just does it randomly. I couldn't give... A... Oh, wow, they're going to equalise immediately, aren't they? Brilliant. Cheers, Ed and Anna. Beating at your near post again. I literally couldn't give two shits who the captain is on my team. It just decides it for itself. But apparently people get seem to be quite perturbed and quite offended by the fact that cap captain for any given game could be someone that they dislike in the squad. I don't pick my captain. Unfortunately, I do pick my goalkeeper and he keeps conceding goals. 1-1. One, one. Ruberg, Namina. Apparently Mata is being discussed transfer-wise. I'm not sure where he might be headed. Richarlison with good footwork here to hold the ball up against his former team, obviously. It's only just occurred to me that Richarlison, I actually signed from Watford, and now he's scored against Watford as well. well I don't know how to do the no ce the no celebration. Oh, balls it up. I should have done the, the, the apology, like, sorry, lads. I know I used to play for you, but I've just scored. That's, that's a good goal. Oh, it wasn't as far in the corner as I thought it was initially. Perhaps the keeper should do better with that. The keeper definitely should do better with that. Oh, well. Second half has come to life, hasn't it? Southampton 2, Watford 1. We're only seven or eight minutes in. Hoofed over the top. Bertrand will cut that out. And Fowler will push forward with it. And what the defender was doing there, he just kind of ran the opposite direction. But I'll, I'll say thank you. All crowds with a spin. And Richarlison's in again. Richarlison, 3-1. Oh, I still, I still don't know how to do the no celebration. I've, I've scored again, and it just occurred to me. I was like, I looked down at the controller. You know when you give you, you try and show your parents how to play a game, and rather than watching what's going on the screen, they're like, I need to press that button and that button, and oh, it's changed. By the time I'd gone, what was the button combination for the? Oh, I'm already celebrating. <laughs> this really is a game of two halves, isn't it? First half was. Terrible. Second half really come to life. 3-1 Southampton. Bertrand to Hoiberg. Pokes that down the line well. Buffal into Richarlison. James Ward-Prowse. Lamina. I'll go to Ward-Prowse again. And arriving is Richarlison. Oh, good save by Jose Sarr. Denying Richarlison a hat-trick against his former team. Could yet come. Skriniar. Oh, dear. That was a bit wild. He's offside there, I think. No. All right. I was so sure that Etienne Capu was offside that I didn't even bother to defend. He was onside. When he played the ball through there, I was so certain he was at least a foot off. Pretty sure that that looks like it's offside to me. 
As the ball's played, you can see him there kicking it. Pretty sure that's offside. Never mind then. Cheers, Lino. 3 2. It's just as well I scored the extra goal, isn't it? Or Prowse. In there to Hoiberg. Player over the top looking for Richarlison to get in behind. I've moved Richarlison out wide and brought on Carrillo up top because uh, Buffal was actually properly shattered on the left wing. So I've moved Richarlison back out to his default position. And Guido Carrillo could come off the bench and give us a fourth. But no, it's well held by Jose Sar. Challenge for this, please. Okay, never mind. Do not, Ches. Do not concede a third. No goals in the first half. We've had five in the second, and it will stay at just five. Three of which going to me, and as such, three points come to me as well. Oh, I did look in the menus, actually, after I scored the second goal with Richarlison, how to do the show respect celebration. So, uh, had I scored a third one, I would have been able to do it. Unfortunately, I didn't score a third, but never mind. We got the victory, so uh, that's all that matters. <sighs> Wasn't able to get Richarlison a hat-trick, but pleased that he started to score goals playing in that striking role, which bodes well for the future. Unfortunately, we've only got two days to play Spurs, but they too have a game this weekend, so we're both up against it over the Christmas period. So fingers crossed, they'll be just as tired as we are, and it might still be a decently competitive game. That win actually moves us up to fifth in the table. We're right behind Spurs. 4-2-3 on for Tottenham. Harry Kane starting up top this time around. Dembele, Wanyama, Robin, Eriksen, Son. Much stronger starting lineup than they played against me last time we played them. This is going to be a real test. Eriksen with a through ball. Harry Kane with a first acceleration there to get past Henry Harris. Here's Robin. Eriksen. Post and away. Did Anana get anything on it? He didn't. Why does that not surprise me? Promes. Into Obafemi. That's a foul ref. Thank you. Don't take that quickly. Should be a bit further in than that. We might have a decent shooting opportunity here. Quincy Promise stood over it. No one else got a good free kick? No. I am going to give this a go from 30 yards with Quincy, you know. We'll see what we can do. Kick straight to the wall is what I can do. Ha! Yay! Son. Ericsson. I'll have that. Get there, Yedlin. Okay, I try. I started moving the sticks so I him to get to the ball and then run to the left and he... The game had already decided he wasn't going to get there, so uh, he just started running to the left. <laughs> Clover in there to Obafemi. Actually doing a decent job of holding the ball up, Obafemi, despite the fact he's not got a chance about muscling any of their uh, forward players. Jordi Klasi back to Hoiberg, into Obafemi. And here is Jordi Klasi. He's in good goal-scoring form. Oh, mixture of Damons and Sanchez and the keeper. I think it was just the defender in the end, keeping the ball away from the back of the net. That's a good delivery, but... Hugo Lloris comes to claim it. My first real proper chance. I just slowed down with Klasi there to settle myself to try and find the corner. Perhaps I should have hit it while still going full tilt. Would have at least gotten the shot cleanly on goal. But lovely ball into Ian Robin. And they might go up the other end. Hi. And uh, score themselves. But... Well, I was about to say. But Robin's on his weak foot and it's not that good. Apparently that doesn't matter. Ian Robin on his right foot. One of the rarest sights in the game as a whole. Iron Robin cutting his side on his right foot and bending one into the far top corner. Right then. 1-0 Tottenham. Obafemi. Classy. Through to Obafemi. Try and use the pace here up against Toby Alvarez. The angle is narrow, but Lloris makes a good save. Decent effort from him there, actually. Obafemi. Clever can't turn and beat Aria, unfortunately. Nearly an equaliser before half-time, but... As we are now, jeeps, just three and a half minutes away from, thankfully, at uh, half-time. We're able to put an end to their attack that might well have put the game out of my reach. I think 2-0 Tottenham would see an end to my challenge here. Eriksen down the line to Hume Min Son. I'm talking about Mauro Icardi in commentary, but I'd rather concentrate on what's happening at St Mary's, to be completely honest. I'd love to sign a player like Mauro Icardi at Southampton, but unfortunately I don't have the financial clout to be able to do that. Good physicality shown by Harris there, but it's only going to drop as far as uh, Moussa Dembele. And Christian Eriksen gets to turn on me again for a second time. Oh, Harris comes out on top, but I, I didn't feel like that was a foul, to be honest. Wanyama going off and Claudio Marchisio coming on. Wonderful. As if Tottenham's team wasn't already good enough. Robin and Eriksen stood over it. It's going to be Christian to take it. 
Roof of the net only. Yedlin. This is good football. Will it lead to a goal? I'll just try and bend it with Classy. Might have worked. Oh, is that a foul? No, says the referee. Um, I'm pretty sure I should have had a penalty there. Can I work this around to get a chance? No. Answers on a postcard. Was that a penalty? Let me know in the comment section. Should I be having the chance to equalise from the spot? Ericsson. Oh, shit. Ericsson. Tottenham are going to take all three points from this one. They've just got that something extra. That something extra being genuine quality in every position. Which is something I don't yet have in this save. We might do by the end of season three or four. But right now, I don't have that genuine quality in every position. And it shows here. Tottenham 2-0 up. Harry Kane through the gap. Rushing away, rushing away, rushing away. Still. Harry. No. Oh, he's given pen. Oh, he's give a pen. I just tried to intercept the pass and Harry Kane run into my leg more than anything else, ref. Oh, bollocks. Right, well, Harry Kane to make it 3-0 and compare my misery. Oh, no, no, you've gone the right way. That far away from saving three penalties in a row. I've been conceding a lot of those recently. I think that's a penalty in every single episode. Of the last three. That's a trend I need to get myself out of, isn't it? There's the final whistle. A resounding defeat against West Ham. West Ham? Against Tottenham. Wow. Sorry, Tottenham fans. Against Tottenham. That was, uh, well, not that one-sided. But that's the what you get with quality, I guess. Tottenham just too much for me. I'm still perplexed that Iron Robin scored that level of goal on his right foot. I've never seen him do that in real life. Uh, we have Norwich next in the FA Cup, of course. Uh, Oriol Romeo is on his way back from injury. That is huge. And Romeo is going to be out for a game through suspension, but it's only the Cup game. The fact that Oriol Romeo is on his way back is massive because it means I can move Promes further forward to striker at certain times and I've got an extra central midfielder so I can push Wall Prowse further forward again or maybe even play Classy in that cam roll. Oriol Romeu returning to first team action might well significantly alter the way that we play, the, the way that we play this uh, this second half of the season. Or at least whilst we're missing Charlie Austin, it doesn't look like I'm going to get any transfer bids in for the players that are on the transfer list. Apparently, the strikers that I have that I'm trying to get rid of, nobody wants. Pretty frustrating. NASA Chadley has gone to Leicester. Let's have a look and see what else has happened in this window, shall we? Uh, apparently, both slates are blank. Amazing. Great. Okay, well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel, too, to make sure you don't miss out on more. I'll quickly show you the league table, actually, before we end. But, uh, yeah, what day were you... I can't remember what day. I think you're seeing this Friday. So I'll probably be streaming for Champions tonight. So do check my uh, Twitch channel. Link in the description to that. And we are currently sixth in the league table. Decent. See you later.